Welcome to part 9 of my All Advancement series. Now, it is still thundering right now, and I was able to rush over to a Mushroom Island, um, and it's still thundering now, so... Alright, there we go. I know I'm gonna have to eventually get this one, so... I might as well settle up. There we go. Okay, so now all I need to do is just name tag the creeper. All right, so the last thing to do is just build a portal to the mushroom island so that I can get there quickly. And this should link up with one I've already built. All right, there we go. So yeah, whenever we need to, I can just rush over here and strike all of them with lightning. Okay, I just saw the clouds turn dark gray already. So yeah, I think it's thundering. Okay. Let's go. All right, there it is, nuclear fusion. Strike every mob that can transform with lightning at once. So now that I have that out of the way, in this video, I was planning on finishing the weaponry tab. So you can see we have quite a few advancements in here. We're gonna start from the top as always and work our way to the bottom. All right, first up, I need to hit a mob with every single type of ax. All right, this next one, I need to kill a skeleton from 50 blocks away, so I'll just go to this tree. There we go. Alright, now I need to hunt down all types of animals with my bow. I'm sorry. I'm working towards this advancement right now as well, where I need to feed cake to every type of panda. That might take me a while, especially since the brown panda is going to probably be very hard to find, but... I think this is the last flower I haven't picked up yet, so... Guess we'll get that advancement now. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, what? This is like one of the rarest rooms too, what? No way. There's a diamond block inside this actually. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen this room naturally generate. Okay, for this advancement, I do actually need to loot one of these chests, so. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't really know where any, oh, there we go. <laughs> Sad to say, I don't know where any of these generate, but. There we have one. What? No way. <laughs> I ran into another wooden mansion, not even like 2,000 blocks away. Oh my gosh. Dude, what is happening? All right, nice. We got one more closer to I am loot being done. All right, there we go. All right, next up, I need to hunt every aquatic creature with my trident. No way. No way. These are supposed to be rare, not every thousand blocks. Nice. So I just realized that I wasn't recording the last, like, hour or so. But all that really happened was I finished a few advancements. Um, so I finished this one and this one right here. And I also got overpopulation after I bred axolotls. Also, I'm working towards this advancement, and I did a few of these just barely. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate that we don't have that, but oh well. Alright, there's Piglin Brute killed with TNT, seeing as I'm gonna have to do it for this advancement. Okay. 
There's Piglin. Oh, the timing. There's Undermite Dead with Splash Potion of Farming, which I need to kill every mob with them, so. Oh, two and one. Okay, not really. All right. There it is. Deflect an attack from every hostile monster. I'm gonna try something that might end poorly. Uh, yeah, just drop a piece of TNT on all of the raiders. Oh. I've jumped 100,000 times. Nice. All right, and here it is, Demolitions Expert. And I think that actually is enough phantom membranes for me to get a stack of them. So I'm gonna head back home real quick and check. Yeah, there it is. Stack of phantom membranes. Okay, next up I have this advancement, which is to get nine crossbows loaded in my hotbar at once. All right, and there we go. All right, I have every unique firework star, so now I just need to turn them into fireworks and launch them. All right, we have all the fireworks crafted. Might as well see what they look like. That was a little underwhelming. All right, so now we only have one more advancement in this tab, and it is to die twice within 10 seconds. So my plan is to just jump down, respawn, and then jump down again. All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, and that is another milestone done. So I started on the farming milestone in the last episode, and it's pretty hard to do, seeing as this advancement, you need to get a stack of poisonous potatoes, golden apples, puffer fish, all of these things. They're pretty hard to get a stack of, so it kind of held me back, and I wasn't really able to complete it in that episode. So I think I'm going to finish it this episode. Yeah, let's get on to that. Here's a stack of salmon. All right, there's a stack of tropical fish. All right, and finally, there is a stack of hover fish. All right, there's a stack of golden apples. There's a stack of cooked salmon. All right, there is a stack of rabbit. All right, there's a stack of cooked rabbit. So now all that I have left to do is get a stack of poisonous potatoes. So let's get on to that. There we go, finally. I've gotten a stack of every type of food with the final one being poisonous potatoes. All right, so I've gone out and collected every single flower, so now I just need to craft all the stews. All right, now I just need to drink all of them. 
All right, there we go. Okay, next up I have get. Okay, well I guess that was quite much. I can't even stack these. Okay. So there we go. All right, there we go. Serious dedication. All right, so next up I need to use bone meal and everything that can be grown. All right, here is all of the trees. But I have not bone mealed yet. So we have spruce, birch, acacia, and finally, jungle. All right, and lastly, we have the large fern. All right, next up is this advancement right here, where I need to compost every type of compostable item. All right, so in these four shulker boxes, I have every single item that's able to be composted. So we're just gonna plop this down and get to it. All right, and finally, there we go. All right, next up, I have craft a stack of melon blocks. So to do this, I'm going to need nine stacks of melons. So I already have about a third of them and I don't really wanna just wait for them to grow. So I'm just gonna go to the jungle and start collecting them. All right, and there we go, a stack of melons. All right, next, we got a snow golem. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that took so long, but yeah, we got every single advancement in the farming tab. All right, and to finish off this video, I'm going to be working towards finishing these two tabs right here. So let's get to that. All right, so I've gone and collected all 16 types of carpet, and I've done that so I can do this advancement right here, which is to sit on llamas with all 16 colors of carpet. Yeah, I've been searching quite a while for llamas, but I've kind of been getting distracted by temples and whatnot. Oh my god. I thought I was dead there, honestly. I have never seen that. A skeleton and a creeper down there. Yeah, so that's why you always should look down into your temples before you drop in them. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that, honestly. I feel like I should be dead right now, but I am definitely not complaining. Oh, what? No, these are supposed to be rare. What's going on? What's going on? Maybe in 1.18, they made these like 30 times more common because this is just unheard of. All right, well, here's another advancement if I can find it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, here we go. Orange, red, yellow, white, pink, magenta, green, lime, purple, gray, cyan, light gray, light blue, brown, black, and finally, blue. Let's go. There we have it, Llama Festival. All right, so next I need to find a llama with a strength of five for this advancement right here. And only 0.8% of all llamas actually have this amount of strength. So I'm just gonna have to search for as many llamas as I can find and just tame all of them until I get the advancement. All right, so I ran out of recording space, but as you can see here, I did actually end up finding a llama with a strength of five. Um, <laughs> I saved the cords of it, so maybe I'll go visit it later, just to show proof that I found one, but... Yeah, surely that doesn't look suspicious. 
But now I'm just working towards getting these three advancements right here. So I'm gonna need a stack of empty BNS, which is gonna be a little annoying to do, but I have an idea on how to do that. And there we go. We got ourselves a stack of beehives. Now to get all these beehives, what I'm going to be doing is using birch trees and flowers and then growing them. Because birch trees, unlike oak trees, they can't grow into unpredictable shapes. And they also are able to have a beehive grow on them if planted next to a flower. So we're going to do that now. one more oh let's go and after four hours of collecting beehives I finally have gotten all of them let me just put into perspective how long this took me every single one of those birch trees I grew next to a pink tulip and you can see, this isn't even all of them. Let's go over here. This is a plains biome. This is not a birch forest, you can see. And yeah, I don't even know how many trees that is. All right, next up, I have this advancement, which is to get stung to death by bees. So I went out and just found a random beehive and I'll be doing that here. And there we go. Alright, I just remember that you can actually craft honey blocks into honey bottles, so I'm gonna have enough now to finish off this advancement, so I'm just gonna do that right now. There we go. 100 bottles of honey drink. Alright, I'm gonna work towards this one now. I don't know where I'm gonna find all of these, but I have an idea. So, I'm gonna get to that now. All right, there's brown rabbit. All right, so next up I need to attach a lead to every single mob that I can. I've already done most of them, but there's gonna be a few hard ones such as I don't even have a skeleton horse yet, which is going to be a little annoying to find. But yeah, let's get on to that. There's cat, wolf, squid, there's glow squid, there's lost a lot, there's parrot, there's snow golem, there's donkey, there's horse, and there's mule, there's polar bear, there's strider, there's zoglin, all right, there we go. All right, and now I just have Skeleton Horse. Oh, nice. Okay, so we just have Ink Sack and Bamboo left. Alright, so now I've gotten every single thing I can get from fishing, except for the most rare item, which is Ink Sack, which only has a 0.1% chance with no luck of the sea. Let's go. Nice, so we uh, fished out all types of items. Alright, next up I'm going to be doing this advancement right here, which is where I need to catch every variant of Axolotl. Now, the blue variant is actually extremely rare, so to get it, I'm going to have to breed quite a bunch of Axolotls. So I think what I'm going to do is just create a breeding area for them. I also think I might be able to get this advancement right here, seeing as I need buckets of tropical fish for breeding, and you know, I only have a few left, so while I'm getting those, I might end up running into these variants. Alright, that's every single variant except for blue, so let's just get that one now.
Also, I just realized that you only have a 1 in 1200 chance to get an axe level from breeding. Alright, there is every single type of tropical fish. Is that a- wait, is that- No way. I think I saw a blue one. Yeah, yeah, it's blue. Let's go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> no way. And there we have it. The blue axolotl. Arguably the rarest mob in the game. Alright, well that only took like 3 hours, I was expecting it to be like 10, but you can see right here, there's about 300 axolotls. I don't know how accurate that is, but yeah, and for it being a 1 in 1200, I got pretty lucky with this. But I think I've stretched this episode out long enough, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.